Well we're here today supporting uh, Rusty and Malcolm, they're the two lads that uh, were brave enough to try and arrest the judge last time uh, for treason and uh, the police basically didn't do their job and now those two lads are in a lot of trouble so we're here to support them and uh, it's a bit of law for rebellion basically, uh, entirely peaceful, <laughs> obviously it takes all these guys for us for some reason. Uh, yeah, just bring it on. Let's keep things on the camera. It's all about that. It's some lawful rebellion. Hi, uh, why are we here today? Hello, love. Um, I don't know, you probably do know about what happened in Baconhead on the 7th of March where we uh, lawfully arrested a judge who was not standing on his oath, would not honour his oath and therefore was basically impersonating a judge. Um, so we effected a, cit a citizen's arrest. We asked the police to step in and actually do their duty and arrest this guy posing as a judge who was in contempt of court and committing treason at the same time. Um, so basically they didn't do that. They started arresting people from amongst us. Uh, and we got two guys up in, in the magistrates today. They're charged with violent assault on a police officer. I think that's what they're both charged with, something like that. So they carry hefty sentences, but we had cameras in the court um, and, and so many witnesses. Malcolm, when he was arrested, was standing by the door like that. That's it. And they jumped on him and just, that was his violent assault. So yeah, we've got two guys who we're giving our full support to today. Um, and there's an interesting little twist as well because they've both written uh, bills of exchange for the court and for the judge. So um, they, they, there's, there's, uh, there's an awful lot of technicality in the paperwork that they've uh, put in today. Um, they say they brought today, it wasn't, it wasn't put in previous to, to coming here this morning. So it's all, you know. Um, and are we confident of a good result? Um, we will come through with the result and it's good as long as the people keep on coming and keep on observing what's actually going on and witnessing it. People start waking up to the fraud which is inherent in this whole system. So, that's about it. How's that? It's uh, Rob of uh, Clan Lennox, formerly known as Bollocks. Uh, I'm here today in Birkenhead. This is the second event, follow up from the first one. There's uh, two lads. Uh, Facing the usual uh, crap that we're involved in. We're here just showing their support for the guys. They won't let us, they won't let us in the uh, the court itself, a button is too small. So uh, we're standing here outside showing us the support and we're getting a lot of people there uh, beeping their horns as they go past. Uh, really what I'm here is a, a person supporting the lads on behalf of the British Constitution Group. We've got John Hurst and Roger Hayes inside uh, uh, representing the boys. So all we can do is basically wish them the best and find out what happens. But I've no doubt it's going to be a kangaroo court and we know that come from the start, but we'll see what happens. It's just one battle, a long series of battles that work to take place. And we're winning, we are winning, there's no doubt about it, we are winning. I'm talking to people on a daily basis and people are waking up. They're also thinking something's wrong now and they're finding a focus for, for, for their, their, their disappointment, I wouldn't say anger, but their disappointment, their frustration, they are finding an outlet for it. 
you know, we're as, you, as the camera pans around, you'll see we're, we're all very normal people here. Well, most of us. <laughs> very reasonable. Uh, quite happy to sit and debate with anyone, happy to have an intelligent discussion with people. We're not into name calling, we're not into violence. Uh, it's as peaceful and as lawful what we're doing. And what we're fighting for is, is what is right. What we're fighting for is what is good, what is proper. We're fighting to have the Britain back we used to have. We, we, we treated the police as being our friends, as, as, as someone we could rely on in times of need and, and, and times of want. The police were there as our friend. And things have changed now, and the police now are no longer our... I mean, I, I'm generalising, but they're no longer our friends, but we have to fear the police. You see a policeman in the street now, and people now fear the policeman. A police car drives past your car, you're immediately fearing that police car. When did, when did that change happen? When we, we start to look at the police as being a threat to us. You know, it's just, it's just wrong. I, I've given respect for the police. I'm ex-army. I've given respect for the police. Never respect for the boys in the army, etc., etc. And if something's wrong. I've got to question who's running the show now. We all know the lawyer. We all know the police are doing their, their, their job. But the police themselves in the army. I've got to ask who's running the show. Who are they who are they actually working for? Who are they fighting for? Who are they who are they controlling us on behalf of? It's not the same people that was just 20 years ago, 30 years ago. Uh, certainly, I mean, certainly the, 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 I mean, I'm reading the news last week and I, I picked up the Daily Telegraph, the mainstream media has come out now and openly stated that there is no Queen. And I urge people, strongly urge people to look into it. Uh, the, Royal, the Royal website, look at the web page called The Queen and the Law, where it quite clearly states the Queen is an EU citizen. But she's still a partly uh, sovereign of our country, a promoter of our country, and interestingly, she's a British national. Uh, quite how that works out, I, 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 no, I know how it works out, uh, because the, the Queen has signed up as being a citizen, but Barroso of Europe has not signed up to being a subject. So it tells you who's in charge. So all the dodges, all the policemen, all the, the army guys, anyone watching us, please just question who is running the show today, and do you trust them? Do you trust them? I mean, certainly the people standing here today, I trust these people with my lives. Because these people, are the, the lawful rebellion movement, are good people, really good people. Their heart is in the right place. They're not doing this for themselves. They're doing this for you guys, your children. I mean, it's amazing when I speak to people and they argue until I point out that we are fighting for their children's future. Do they want to live in the, in, in, in the future their children are going to inhabit? And it changes people's minds. There's a lot of change that needs to take in place. We've got to do it lawfully and peacefully, the British way, a very British revolution. No bloodshed, no nastiness uh, on our part. There's nastiness taken from the authorities, there's a lot of nastiness. Uh, we'll take it. I'm happy to stand here and take a beating. I'm happy to stand here and be called names, character assassination. I don't care, I really don't care. Because what I'm fighting for transcends me. Or my family, it transcends that. This is this is a whole nation we're 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 we're, we're, we're uh, 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 fighting for here. You know, we're standing up for. And people have got to learn. There's no point waiting for someone else to fix it. This is another thing in here. Or somebody somebody needs to do something. We are doing something. We are standing here doing something. You know, and I must say we've got a lot of support within the police, quietly we've got a lot of support within the police and within the judicial system. But they're scared to speak out because at the moment uh, there's not enough people standing with standing beside us. So instead of standing there guys saying somebody's got to fix this, or down the pub whinging and whining about taxis and all these laws that are controlling every aspect of your life. I'm not interested, really interested in listening to you. Come and listen to what we've got to say. Join us, stand beside us, then you're putting your, your money where your mouth is. Okay? So on that nice note, it's a lovely day in Birkenhead. Shame you couldn't be here, but uh, next time we hope to see you all. Thank you. Signing out. It's a very, very important division between, between the two, okay? So this is going to go further up the case, and I think we, we, we're pleased that we've now got to the point where we've actually got that clear distinction with what they're claiming 
is and, and, and is not the case. Now, uh, we've just pointed out to the police they're being involved in this because of, obviously the, the, the courts or the government is dragging the police in to, to try and force their hand statute law over common law. So we've got, a, we've got a situation which is evolving now. It's really quite interesting. But um, the court case, next court case, we'll be dealing with these issues and that's going to be on the, um, the, the 8th, the 7th, 8th and 9th and the 11th of July. Okay. So, work in progress, I think we've done a good job, and I also note that the, the magistrates seem to be listening to what we're saying, but very importantly, the legal advisers have all been told that statute law is superior, this is corpus juris, is superior to common law, they've got it wrong. And, and, and what they've done, Roger, is they, they, not, they, they took the charge down to a, a summary only trial so that you couldn't take it to Crown Court. Yeah. What they were originally charged with could have gone to Crown Court. Mm -hmm. But what they've got now is only to be heard within summary. So they've tried to keep it away from a jury in that manner. But I mean, as far as we're concerned, it's, it, we, you know, we're the jury anyway. But I mean, as far as we're concerned, you know, they've got no jurisdiction to deal with in that court because it's not a constitutionally established court. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we can challenge that from that, from that perspective anyway. Yeah, so we, we claim, we've claimed common law jurisdiction today. That's been denied, so we're claiming denial of due process. We're asking for a judicial review on that fact, um, and, and essentially it goes forward from here. Uh, another interesting point is that the, the most important people who are learning are the police. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, that yeah. these guys must understand this is all about defending our, our you know, our liberties and our rights, yeah, and theirs yeah. as well, yeah. and their family as well. So. All right, we've been nice and, to you. <coughs> and last final point is that when you guys turn up in numbers, it's making the statements important. So thanks for turning up. Well done. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.